Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here we have today from the Master Grade line, the Gundam 00 Universe, is the long-awaited Gundam Dynamis. So this is a fan favorite of, you know, I would say by most, of the Gundam 00 series. Obviously a lot of people do love the Exia, but there's been quite an oversaturation of sets in his mobile suits. You know, we kind of just had like so many, we had pretty much every single Exia. We had, um, you know, the 00 Quants, we had the 00 Riser, 007 Swords, you know, a lot of mobile suits in the Master Grade line that came from the 00 series is primarily with Setsuna's mobile suits and a couple of other little grunt suits here and there. But you know what? I, I really am super happy that they decided to go ahead and make this a Master Grade. This is a very, very, you know, good sign that we're probably gonna get more of the uh, the lead suits in mass gray form, especially with a uh, good old boy right up there. And I want to give a shout out to NewTypeHQ.com for sponsoring this video. Uh, they have been very supportive and very helpful for you know funding these actual videos and allowing me to get these kits in a good, timely fashion for you guys. So with that, definitely utilize their website if you're you know really urgent to get this kit you know ASAP. Uh, the shipping is phenomenal, especially in the United States. And if you want a little bit of a discount, use that promo code Krosama. So that way you can get 10% off. So on to the unboxing. Now the first thing I want to take a look at is going to be this box art. This box art is super beautiful. I, I honestly think this is probably the best box art in the Gundam 00 Master Grade line thus far. I just really love it and you can kind of see a little hint right up there for what could possibly be our next Master Grade. And this was released in March 2019. And this kit's going for about $45 on average. And the first thing we'll take a look at is going to be the frame. So the frame it doesn't look like it, it's gonna take a lot from the Gundam Exia, but it has been quite a few years that I have built the Exia. So we'll definitely see when we look at the runners. And we are gonna begin some dual GN beam pistol action, which is probably my go-to pose because I do love the GN beam pistols. And we are gonna have those GN missiles that's gonna be in the front skirt, as well as the knees. And the GN full shield basically is the wings that cover on the front side of the kit. And the GN cable is going to be that nice holographic, uh, probably like that clear plastic. And of course you're going to get a lock on Stratus that is both standing and in the cockpit. This is probably my first time painting a figure because I think lock on really deserves it. And he's going to have the beam sabers as well as that beautiful sniper rifle. And one of the cool gimmicks on this kit is going to be the GN vernier. Now if you want to light up that GN drive, you are going to have to purchase the little LED light separately. And unfortunately I cannot find a green LED to save my life. I do have a blue one, but I, I'm still on, on the lookout for any greens. And here you can see the unpainted kit and as well as all the little markings that's gonna come with it. And even in the standing pose, the front and rear shots demonstrate that this kit is going to look super damn cool. And here we have the GN sniper rifle. So one of the big gimmicks that a lot of people kind of both hated and loved about this kit is the fact that he can actually get into the sniper prone position but it's going to have a huge gap in that waist and I will definitely demonstrate that in my review. And of course that little camera right there on the head can just move down so that way he can get a better lock on on his enemies. And here they're demonstrating the neck and shoulder movements. Also the standard hip joint movement. And when you incorporate all that together you're going to get some really awesome sniper shots. And time to crack it open. And what you get out of the box is going to be a massive stack of plastic so we'll try and rush through these as quickly as we can. So the first runner we're going to take a look at is going to be runner A. Here you get some nice clear green parts. It's going to be for the chest as well as the forearms. Here you're going to have some nice little white right there. Nothing really too spectacular or really jumping out at me except for this beautiful lock on Stratus figure. Uh, definitely going to paint both of them and uh, you know it's going to be my first time painting them so uh, hopefully they come out pretty good. You get some red right up there and then you're going to have some gray right down here as well. And next we're going to have is Runner B and this is beautiful with these hands. Uh, these are my favorite type of hands because I don't really care for the individual finger poses. Uh, this kind of just does all the little things I would prefer for my hands to do which would be closed fist, open fist for beam sabers, weapons as well as kind of just more dynamic fingers. Uh, I'm not really trying to grab or grip anything that I can't otherwise. So yeah that looks really good and all the inner frame looks pretty damn good itself. And next we're going to have two very large runner C's. These are going to be for more of your duplicate parts. So obviously, you know, your shoulders, arms, you got your legs in there. Uh, maybe even parts for the wings, but I think this is mostly just the arms and legs uh, in these two runners. And next we're going to have is two runner D's. 
This of course is going to be all your white armor that's going to be for the legs as well as the arms and there's going to be some pretty decent surface detail on here with uh, some nice panel lines and just little etched in parts so very much happy to go ahead and panel line all that. And runner E1 is going to be all your yellow. Runner E2 is going to be clear parts. And next is going to be runner F1, F2, F2 just being a small little portion right there. Uh, but this is going to be more of your green armor. So it's just sporadic all over. You got parts for the shoulders, backpack, uh, see parts for the chest right here. So really good uh, overall details inside there. So quite a bit of panel line you can definitely do in that. I, I'm pretty much very much uh, satisfied with what I'm seeing so far. Uh, just don't really like too much of the warping of the plastic right there. But obviously if you go and just sand all that down and you know maybe even just top coat it, that should just suffice. And next is going to be runner G1 and G2. So these are going to be your weapons. Obviously parts for your sniper rifle right here. And you're going to have these two parts for your dual pistols. And moving on to runner H1, H2. These are just going to be more inner frame parts for the kit. Runner I is going to be parts for the shield as well as runner J. And you're going to have some beam saber effect parts, a decent marking sticker sheet, some of that holographic plastic that looks really good, and some basic stickers which can easily be painted. And lastly we do have the manual so nothing really too spectacular with this, just going to be your basic manual. It's going to have some nice little colored storyline arcs in here. It's going to show you information about the mobile suit and all the armaments and everything. So pretty much like you see on the side of the box and then just on the back you know we got the color guide front and rear shot uh, you actually have the kind of look of how lock on shadows should look but you know obviously you can pull that from uh, online but yeah then you got the markings which is going to look pretty damn cool so not going to paint a lot on this i think i'm just going to paint some of the details other than that uh, i'll probably just top coat it and just be done and over with it so that's it guys uh if you do want this uh kit you know, please go visit uh newtypehq.com they are going to have this up there and you can use that promo code krosama so we can get 10 percent off but that's it for me guys definitely appreciate all of you for watching this unboxing and i'll be having this review up maybe tomorrow if i'm acting very fast on the build uh if not then it should be up by saturday my time but that's it for me guys i appreciate all of you for watching and i'll see y'all in the review Bye bye